China warned the United States that allowing Ukraine to join the North Atlantic Treaty Organization may result in grave consequences, including nuclear war, NATO. Beijing forewarned in an editorial published on Sunday in the state-run Global Times that all European countries will shudder under the shadow of a possible nuclear war. The publication stated, in that event, there will be no security for anyone, not for Ukraine, not for the world. Washington has repeatedly shown that the U.S. is going in the opposite direction, fanning the fires of war, instead of pursuing agreements to end the conflict. Jake Sullivan, the national security advisor for the U.S., responded last week when asked about Zelensky's proposal to expedite Ukraine's membership in NATO, saying that it is not the proper time and that the application should be taken up at an other time. China demanded that the Western alliance completely leave Eastern Europe. President Volodymyr Zelensky has renewed his call to be led into the alliance as Russia announced a bid to annex four regions in Ukraine. The most recent threat from China follows a series of vehement cautions, some of which were directed at the United States for supporting Taiwan in the face of Beijing's aggression on the island. In order to form a solid coalition against the West, China and Russia have sought to unite. A temporary financing deal approved by Congress last week contained an additional $12 billion for Ukraine, bringing the total to $66 billion. Prior to the assault, Biden favored Ukraine's NATO applications. Since then, he has changed his position. He did send a warning to Russian soldiers not to meddle with any NATO-aligned bordering nations. America and our NATO allies are fully prepared to defend every square inch of NATO territory. Each and every inch, Biden remarked. When he declared that he was not bluffing and that Russia was ready to use nuclear weapons to defend its territory, Vladimir Putin stoked fresh fears of nuclear war. Additionally, he referred to any nation that seeks to live by the rules of the United States as political masochists. Putin claimed Russia would use all the force and all the means at its disposal to defend its new territory from attacks by the West or Ukraine and to aid in the liberation of the world when he announced that it was annexing four districts of Ukraine. Speaking in front of his cronies in Moscow, the Russian autocrat claimed that millions of people had chosen to become Russian vassals following the staging of fake referendums in which armed soldiers went door-to-door -door enforcing voting using clear glass ballot boxes. In front of a standing ovation, Putin declared, they are our people, forever, before urging Ukraine and its Western friends to give up on trying to retake them and reiterating his threat to employ all forces to defend the new territory. The West seeks to portray Russia as a colony and an oppressive society, he claimed. In a belligerent speech from the Kremlin, the Russian president claimed that Westerners have moved on from imposing sanctions to carrying out terror strikes. He asserted that the endeavor by the West to sabotage the Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines was an effort to destroy the European energy infrastructure, and that those who profit from it have done it, without mentioning any particular nation. 